welcome to Curly Shirley Storytime. Today's story is called Grandma's Knitted Kingdom. The author is Rachel McCroy and the illustrator is Raquel Brandio. One thing I love about Grandma's Knitted Kingdom is that the author lives in the United Kingdom, which is all the way across the ocean from America. It's far, far away, but grandmothers love their grandchildren no matter where in the world they live. This grandmother creates something very magical and extraordinary for her grandchild. Are you ready to see what it is? Let's go! My grandma lives in a knitted house. It is actually made of wool. She knitted for a hundred years until her house was full. Full of knitted curtains, flowers, cushions, socks, and hats. Once a mouse came to her house, so she knitted 5,000 traps. Her bed is knitted, her clothes are knitted, and her garden is a knitted tree. But my grandma is at her happiest when knitting toys for me. I have a knitted ball, a knitted teddy bear, I have a knitted tea set and all the knitted clothes I could ever wear. I used to wonder about this hobby. I admit, I thought it strange. Why knit and knit all day long? Does she not need a change? I asked Grandma politely, would you like to do something new? She smiled at me and excitedly said, I think it's time you knew. Her eyes lit up as she dropped her needles and said, Quick, follow me. Where are we going, Grandma? I asked. She replied, You'll see. My grandma ran to the kitchen, then out of the back door. I hadn't seen my grandma run for five years or maybe more. She turned to me and said, keep up. I ran as fast as I could, but she disappeared. And when I looked around, I was in a knitted wood. With knitted birds, leaves and trees, squirrels, owls and frogs. In pure amazement, I took a seat on a knitted pile of logs. The logs were soft, not hard as they would be in places I usually go. I looked to the sky and to my surprise, from knitted clouds fell snow. As the snow fell on my shoulders, I knew it should feel chilly, but instead it was nice and warm and soft. I giggled. This all seemed silly. I heard a giggle back from far above my head. Then came my grandma's voice. Quick, up here, she said. I looked and looked but could not find my dear old knitting grandma. A knitted squirrel ran up a tree. I whispered, there you are. Safe in the knowledge I couldn't be hurt from woolen sticks and stones, I climbed to my grandma as fast as I could she was perched on a knitted throne. My grandma looked a vision on the regal pearly chair, wearing the most beautiful dress and knitted flowers in her hair. So what do you think? She beamed gleefully of this world of my creation. Speechless, I gazed out from the knitted tree with pride and admiration. Grandma, where are we? I asked finally. What is this beautiful place? My eyes more open than they'd ever been and the biggest smile across my face. You are in my kingdom, sweetheart, she said. All you see is mine. I made the sky, the trees, the ground, that leaf, that bird, that pine.
My own dear grandma sat and knitted for hours and hours and hours to make this tree just for me, then filled it with leaves and flowers. When I first came to this place, you know, there was only this one tree. It is the only thing I did not make. It was handed down to me. There came a day I questioned why she loved to knit all day, and she brought me here as I have you, and this is what she had to say. When you were small and the weather was cold, I knitted you a hat. When you grew bigger, you wanted a pet, so I knitted you a cat. My grandma had given me a place to play where I could not be hurt, no scratches or scrapes or bruises or bumps, no mud on my shirt. Many years later, I found myself with a grandchild of my own, and to keep you safe, I made all this, including this woolen throne. I always knew I'd bring you here, and I knew your face would glow. With all the time I spent on this, your curiosity would always grow. There are enchanted lands beyond those hills. It is yours now to explore. There are fairies, wood nymphs, hummingbirds, caves, oceans, and so much more. The time has come, my darling, to pass this land to you. Please take this map and compass. They will always guide you through. Before you begin your journey, there is one more thing to do, a ceremony of passing this land from your grandmother to you. All the creatures of the land crept out from behind trees, rocks, and plants, the most gorgeous creatures I'd ever seen, from elephants to ants. We danced and sang all night long. Knitted elephants can sing. Then sometime past midnight, tucked under a butterfly's wing, I let the day come to an end, because thanks to my new wisdom, I knew each day could be spent this way, exploring Grandma's Knitted Kingdom. Wow, what a cool knitted world! If you like this story, be sure to tell your friends. And you can go to our website at curlyshirleystorytime.com to learn how to get your own copy. There are also some cool Grandmother's Knitted Kingdom items like t-shirts and pillows and shopping bags. You can find links for those on curlyshirleystorytime.com too. That's all for now. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.